Okay, so we made it to West Arizona. We are in Lake Havasu. Hang with us and we're gonna show you the park. We're gonna do a drive through the park. We're gonna rent a boat, go out onto the lake and see some of the best spots to go on the lake. So if you come down here, tell you where to rent the boat, where to get the best deal on a boat. And uh, check out this lake. It's full of power boats. It's $35 a night to stay here. It's $20 a night just to launch your boat. So $35, you have a site that's got water and electric and you're right here in the water. As you pull up here, you just tell them your name. They give you your envelope, little hang tag, and you're off. It's the quickest check-in we've ever had. Over to the right is your boat ramp, and you can check out these boats over here. It's like a boat show, the quality of boats coming in and out of this ramp. Proceed straight from the ranger station. You have a clean out right here to your left. Continue down the road, and you'll come up to the cabins on your right. If you rented a cabin, you'll be in this area. If you rent it at Windsor, it'll be the next spot. We'll show you that in just a second. So here are the cabins. Starts out with 17 and you've got all trees, bushes, stuff behind you. It's not right up against the water. Now, once you get to the water, you're talking more along 13, 12, 11. Those are back up to the beach. Uh, towards the end of the cabins, there's five, six, seven area. Those are all on the beach also. See one, two, three, it's RV hookups with the backdrop of land. As we continue down the road, you have Cactus Park. Just a nice walkthrough to check out all different cactuses. Actually cacti, since it's plural. And this next spot we're coming up to is going to be Windsor. Okay, now as we turn into the Windsor area, our RV is right in front of us at spot 13. You got some bathrooms and public showers right over here. Give you an idea of the spots if you're looking at the map. This is spot 11 where this camper is. As you come over here to the side, if you want to get right up against the beach, well, you got five right here. Right across from five, I didn't see the number, but that's this spot where you get close to the beach. And you've got seven. Seven is right here on the water, right next to the beach. Eight, literally on the beach, looking out to the lake. Nine right across, 13 is where we are. And 10, 14, 16, all again over here on the beach side. This will continue to wrap around through the park and until it comes out further south. As we're a little further south, this is spot 34, and it is also right here on the beach. And this is actually the next beach. It's gonna be the main road in front of us. Take a right right there and that'll take you down through the campgrounds, down to the boat launch ramp. Lake Havasu is sunset with the storm blowing in. And enough was enough, so just leave the tent out there upside down. Now this lady's got it figured out. She's just gonna hold her tent until the storm's over. Hi. Okay, so we're in Lake Havasu. We're gonna cruise down south, check out the lake. We'll show you the London Bridge area. The London Bridge is actually brought here from London. Go down the lake, see some other spots. It's looking cool out here, and then we're gonna head north, check out some other stuff. So hang tight, and we'll, we'll show you a couple things. Okay, we're about to take off. I just wanna show you, this is the winter campground over here. This is where we're staying out on this side. And if you look right across the lake, I didn't know this, but California is actually is what you're looking at on the sunset. All right, so this is the entrance going into the canal. This is Crazy Horse Campground over here. You can rent yourself a spot right here on the channel and lots of places to hang out right here. Okay, so this is the London Bridge that was brought over from England in the 1960s. Even the original light posts. 
They've got a brewery up here. And I think it might be mandatory that you have a V8 with uh, through hole exhaust to have your boat on this lake. The pontoons are saying you might as well get an 800 horsepower pontoon. PD doing their job down here. One thing we notice as we come through here is that there's people of all ages. There's little kids here, there's younger couples, older couples, retired people sitting in their chairs on the side, pontoon boats, power boats. Everybody's just sitting back, relaxed, watching the boat parade coming through here and just real chill atmosphere. So the channel is definitely where you want to be if you're down here to hang out, drink, have a good time. Lots of people, everybody's here to have a good time. Now, if you look at this, these are rentals. You can rent these cheaper than you can rent a boat. It's just a rental pontoon with no motor, just tied up here in the chair. Little floating bar action. Everybody just pulling up on the sand. Okay, so we just came out of Bridgewater Channel. That was the Longer Bridge area. Uh, over here to the left was Rotary Park Beach. And then this is uh, Body Beach over here, which is supposed to be where you can see some fast boats testing their stuff out once in a while. I don't know, it's the first time out here. We're going to head across the lake, down the lake, and head to uh, Copper Canyon. Check that out. So as we're heading down here towards Copper Canyon, you have Havasu State Park and Marina. Now this is back in Copper Canyon. Kind of mini party cove. Just the back of Copper Canyon, heading back out to the water. Basically right across from Copper Canyon is Balance Rock and Beaver Island. And they have bathrooms just randomly out here on the lake. Like this primitive bathroom over here. Uh, we're just cruising south down the lake. I've got the volume off because of the wind noise, but you can kind of see here, we're just cruising about 35 miles an hour down the lake, checking things out. You can see the scenery is just really cool. As you look around, you can see mountains off in the distance. Like I said, one side is California, the other side you're, you're in Arizona, and it's Colorado River separating the two states out. This is the southernmost tip of the lake right here. This is Havasu Springs Resort and the Lake Havasu Dam. All part of the Colorado River. Here's this hottie I picked up on the road. She wanted to go to the lake today. Standard cut boat in Lake Avenue. Another quick shot of Arizona as we're heading north back up the lake towards the canyons. Now, when you're in the main body of water and you're going to head north, go to the far side like this boat over on the California side. It's going to hug that left side, that California side, to stay away from the big sandbar. Now we're on that California edge as we're entering this thinner part of the lake. As we make our way north, you see the lake is getting narrower. You got rock formations on the sides. You've got a nice cool breeze coming off the clear water. I mean, it's just a great ride. Now we're at the far north end of Lake Havasu. More like a river up here. You see the current moving pretty good. And all over is people just pull their boat up on a sandbar and just kick back. Now, once you get to the north end of the lake, it turns into a no-wig zone when you're up here by just the Colorado River. But it's definitely worth it. Just take the no-wig zone, idle through here, and it's kind of like driving your boat through the Grand Canyon. Okay, so we are at Topot Gorge. This is the top of Lake Havasu. You gotta get all the way up here to the top. You got the train running next to you. You got I 40 back here in the background. So you're back all the way up to the interstate. The water's cold. It's moving fast. Lots of nice boats. I mean, millions of dollars of boats coming through here. If you like boats, you like fast boats, you 
you gotta hit this lake, you gotta drive through here, just check it out. Beautiful landscape, absolutely a must do. For sure, don't skip this part. Okay, so this was Boats on the Beach. Rented this boat today, $395, that includes gas. And uh, they picked us up right here at the campsite. So, can't beat that. That was enough to get us from one end of the lake to the other. So as we're coming to the end of the video, just wanna share this with you about, this is London Beach Park. And uh, this is right here on the Bridgewater Channel. But this is a really big park, and this is Sunday at sunset. Now, earlier today, this was just jam-packed with people. If you come down here without your RV or without a boat, and uh, you're just staying at one of the hotels right here, you can come over here, sit back. You can sit on the shoreline over here, sit in the water, bring your chair, and just watch the parade of boats coming through all day long. If you like fast boats, dry heat, beautiful scenery, I mean, this is the place to be. I'll show you one more spot where you can grab some dinner, and that'll wrap up our video. And just to show you where we're at, this is the park itself and then the canal. So in the, earlier in the video, as we came out of the canal, that park would have been on your right. Hang out anywhere along here. Also here in London Beach Park is this giant dog park right here. It's right behind the canal also. Okay, just to wrap up the video, just wanted to show you down here, when you're standing down under the bridge itself, this area down here, just take a look around, you can see it's hotels and restaurants, bars. You didn't catch that earlier in the video because you're checking out all the cool boats, but, uh, Thanks for watching, subscribe, like the channel. Remember, life can be hard on you. You can have lots of trauma. Trauma can be a blessing, it can be a curse, depending on how you absorb it. So try to get the most out of your life. Find forgiveness, find forgiveness in yourself most of all. Move forward, love, forgive people, and uh, enjoy your life. We're gonna go enjoy some dinner. Thanks for watching.